Hi, this is Rob Stone, Scout Executive of the Mason-Dixon Council. And I decided instead of doing a written uh, update, I'd just talk to you from my home office for a minute. I tried to do this as a canned speech like I've seen some of my fellow Scout Executives do, but if you know me, you know that's not my style. So bear with me, uh, but I can tell you this is going to be from my heart. First of all, I want to tell you how proud I am of all of you. You've done such a fantastic job of rising to the challenges that we've all been faced with this current situation. Uh, I've seen some amazing things, some great virtual troop meetings and activities and events and service projects. And some of y'all are just doing magnificently with this. I can't tell you how proud I am to see that because it's, it's always gratifying to see that when things seem to be their darkest, scouts rise to do their best. And I'm so proud of all of you for what you're doing. These are dark times. Uh, we've all lost something during this, this horrible crisis and this, and dealing with COVID-19. Uh, we've lost our freedom to, to gather, freedom to go out, freedom to, to go to the store or to a restaurant or to be with friends and family, gather. Uh, in some cases, we've lost our health and we've, we've lost friends and loved ones to this horrible, horrible scourge. Mason-Dixon Council has also faced some challenges during this, as, have, as has everyone. Uh, our service center has been closed since March 19th. Governor Hogan hadn't set a firm date that we can reopen yet, uh, but we'll open again as soon as we can. Uh, staff's done a great job of adapting to working at home, and we set up office protocols so that they can get what they need from our office to, to be able to keep doing their job and supporting all of our great volunteers. Uh, while at the same time keeping them safe from exposure to any kind of infection. Camp Santa Quippy has been closed since March 19th as well. Uh, and even though Governor Wolf just announced yesterday that, that private camps could reopen on May 1st, we're not real sure what limitations and restrictions are going to apply. They've been kind of vague about all that. So it doesn't make sense for us to open up the doors again just yet. So bear with us. We're trying to figure our best case scenario. Besides, uh, we're still hoping uh, in some form or fashion, we'll, we'll need to be getting ready for camp during May. So we'll see what happens there. Our biggest concern is, as it always is, the safety of our scouts and all those involved in delivering the scouting program to them. We've got a lot of teams hard at work to develop protocols to limit the possibility of exposure to COVID-19 at, at all of our future camps and activities following CDC and other guidelines from our healthcare professionals. Uh, we're gonna be adding sanitation teams to camp and event staffs, trained to keep things as clean and safe as possible. Gonna be doing pre-screening checks and procedures that we'll use to minimize uh, exposure and full refunds will be issued to all those that don't pass them. I don't like the term new reality. Uh, prefer to think of this as the latest evolution of our old reality which is to keep everyone as safe as possible while they're enjoying the benefits of scouting. I'm asking for your patience, your cooperation and support as we prepare for this summer and beyond. We don't know what this summer is gonna look like yet. And a lot of the decisions affecting that aren't in our control. What we do know is that we won't be able to have camp as usual. Whether we can do in-person camps or not, We'll have to adapt to whatever this virus forces on us, and we'll do everything possible to make any in-person camp or event as safe as possible. But I don't know what to tell you right now, so you're gonna have to keep checking with in. I'll do these regularly from this point. Keep an eye on our social media sites, our website, mdcscouting.org. As soon as we know something, I promise you'll know something as well. I do know something though, and I have some good news to announce. We've got a team that several weeks now has been working on a concept that we're calling virtual summer camp. We've seen a lot of great things that other councils are doing with virtual merit badge classes, merit badge universities. What we've been working on is taking that to the next level. We've been putting together a virtual summer camp experience, not only for online merit badges, but things like online assemblies and campfires and all the things that make summer camp cool. Uh, for Senequippi, that even means we're working on a virtual spirit day. 
We're going to encourage our scouts to spend the night outdoors every night if they can. And we're trying to set up some additional activities they could do while they're camping out, like astronomy merit badge, or maybe troops want to do virtual uh, campsite meetings and those kind of things, just to make it seem even more like camp. Uh, we're even going to do a, a virtual online camp trading post, so remember that as well. Uh, there's a lot of great things that our folks are putting together in that light. Nothing's going to replace a real week of live camp at Senequippi, but we think we can make this as close as we can do. And we're going to go ahead and put this together. We should have a leader's guide and be ready to go online with it in the next couple of weeks, even if we get to do real summer camp. Uh, we want to make this option available because what we're finding out as we talk to our customers, our scouts and units and families and parents, a lot of kids aren't going to be able to come to summer camp even if we have it because of health concerns or other issues. And we want to make this option available to them as well. Uh, at least give them a taste of, of summer camp. Kids are going to be, we're putting together a fantastic virtual merit badge staff. We've got uh, a great group of people coming together to help us do that. And, and scouts are going to be able to earn five, six or more merit badges uh, during that week uh, that they're doing it. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So stay tuned for that. That's definitely coming. So keep your eyes out and keep an eye on our sites again to make sure when you know all that stuff's going online and getting where you can get to it. In the meantime, I just want you to bear with us and be patient. Uh, this is new to all of us and we're going to make mistakes. There's going to be bumps in the road as we go through this. This is a brand new create from scratch thing. And we're going to do our best. Know though that, that what we're going to make sure we do is to do the best to deliver a high quality program to the scouts not only the Mason Dixon Council, but all those who count on us to do that and to provide their great summer experience. And we've got a lot of challenges in the Mason Dixon Council. I'm not going to lie to you about that. Uh, our scout shop's been closed for weeks. We've had to cancel a lot of activities and events. We've had to cancel a lot of fundraising events that we normally count on this time of year to bring in the money we need to run on. So I'm going to ask you from the heart, if you're able, personally to, to find some extra way to share and help us with your time, your talent, your energy, your resources, and yes, your money. Uh, we want to get the Mason Dixon Council in a position not only to survive what we're going through right now, but to be able to thrive again when we all get back to some sense of normalcy and can go back to, to a normal routine in our lives. And we want to be here to do that. You know, the thing about the Mason-Dixon Council, I'm not the council. Our office isn't the council. Our staff's not the council. Our council executive board's not the council. And you can't send a quippy is not our council. You're our council. All the people, all the kids, all the leaders and parents and adults that work with them, our chartered organizations, everybody that's out there delivering scouting mission every week, that's the Mason-Dixon Council. And the bottom line is I think we can help you deliver that mission better as a small independent council that's locally governed, locally controlled, and locally funded. But I gotta have your help to do that. You know, the bottom line is that we're in this together and we're gonna come through this together and scouting will go on. And the Mason Dixon Council will go on with your help because we are all going to work together to make some magic things happen for our kids. They're at the top of the food chain around here and anything that we can do to make their scouting experience better, we're going to do regardless of what mother nature or anybody throws at us. Thank you again for all you do and thank you for your continued patience and support and dedication. We're going to get through this together. It's an honor and a privilege to serve as your scout executive. It's really the best possible uh, experience I've had in my scouting journey. Uh, so for now, stay safe, stay healthy, be prepared, and scout on. Thank you. God bless.